Hey everybody, welcome back to a max velocity weather forecast and today what we're getting into is that severe weather outbreak potential across the northeast and central plains. We'll give you the latest timing as well as the intensity of these storms and where to expect them all in this forecast. Let's get right into it. So as of right now, there is an enhanced risk of severe weather. This does include upstate New York into a good large portion of central and southern New York. It also goes into central and western portions of Pennsylvania. There is a slight risk that actually extends as far west as Ohio and as well as as far south into far northern Virginia. So a large threat today. Main threats are going to be damaging winds up to 70 miles per hour. Hail up to the size of potentially baseballs. And as well as the potential for a few tornadoes does exist this afternoon. Here's a look at the overall tornado outlook for later this afternoon. You can see there's a 5% probability within a 25 mile radius through upstate New York into even far eastern portions of Ohio. So there's also a potential for very large hail today. You can see that hatched region down there in the portions of Pennsylvania and far southern New York. That's representing your potential for even up to baseball sized hail. So we have a good chance for maybe some large large to very large hail with a few storms today outside of there we very well could see up to golf ball size hail as far north as potentially upstate new york and as far south again as maybe virginia or even even possibly into far northern north carolina so this is a very large risk overall here's a look at the outlook for the rest of this afternoon here's the timing so three o'clock we'll start to see storms starting to form and develop again your water town seems like the best chance for maybe a storm around two to three o'clock this afternoon by four o'clock you can start to see storms start to develop even more especially down into four far southwestern areas of new york near jamestown eventually Eventually by 5 to 6 o'clock, we have a lot more scattered showers and storms across southern and central New York moving toward Albany as well as Saratoga Springs. Eventually by about 7 o'clock or so, we'll start to see, again, storms filling in. Definitely could see maybe an isolated flash flooding risk with a storm or two if they're able to move slow enough. By 8 to 9 o'clock, these storms are moving off to the east. A lot of these will become marginally severe, if not just strong storms, as they move toward west New England for areas like Massachusetts and maybe as well as Connecticut. Northern portions of Pennsylvania starting to see storms as well right around then. You might see storms also earlier this afternoon, just kind of keep that mind we're going to get to your timing in a second by midnight to one o'clock those storms move toward new uh, new york city eventually by two to three o'clock all those storms should be moving offshore eventually drying out hopefully at least the early portions of tomorrow here's a look at the future timing at least for pennsylvania you can see five six o'clock storms especially in southern new york maybe a couple as well even near harrisburg possibly during the early afternoon by eight to nine o'clock we'll have more showers and storms really filling in here across portions of central as well as western pennsylvania at about, about midnight or one o'clock in the morning most of that storm activity will move down to your south and east here's a look at that time timing and as well as the details in terms of the severe weather threat in the central plains as you can see here there's a slight risk of severe weather for missouri western illinois as well as extreme southeastern nebraska and extreme northeastern kansas that also does include kansas city the main threats can be damaging winds so maybe a little bit of large hail very low end tornado threat if any tornadoes do occur they will be brief and weak you can see a little two percent probability across as far west actually as colorado into portions of illinois here's a look at the overall timing for tonight again storms will start to fire up right around 11 to 12 o'clock tonight it's gonna be a late night threat i will not be live streaming this event i will be live streaming the new uh, northeast event so just keep that in mind again make sure to turn post notifications hit the subscribe button down below by one and two in the morning you start to see storms really filling in and again i think the main threat honestly with these storms will obviously be large hail, maybe some damaging winds but flash flooding will definitely be a concern with how slow these will likely move across areas like southern portions of iowa into far eastern nebraska eventually about four to five in the morning you can see these storms barely will be moving so uh, unfortunately it looks like maybe a flash flooding threat with these storms here's a look at the missouri radar so about five six in the morning again slow moving storm as far east again as maybe st louis with a couple of storms maybe being severe and again as far west as maybe colorado by about 10 to 11 o'clock most of that storm activity should fizzle up by friday afternoon so if you have any uh, lunchtime plans definitely going to be a fine day for you here's looking at the outlook by the way for tomorrow i will not be live for any of this by the way again i'm not going to be being doing any live streams on friday or saturday just keep that in mind but there is a marginal threat for portions of the eastern united states right along the east coast so just keep that in mind again if you have any uh, sort of plans just make sure you're aware of this maybe a little bit of isolated large hail or damaging winds nothing beyond that i'm not expecting a tornado threat with those storms but again just be mindful make sure you check in with your uh, national weather service for any severe weather out those ways all right again make sure to hit the subscribe button down below i would appreciate if you liked the video again we'll be going live here on max velocity later tonight forecast is brought to you by platinum contracting all events repair and patriot safe rooms